I literally never hear people talking about this tip for short riders. Why is nobody mentioning this? This is so self-evident. Well, it's not self-evident, but it's such a good tip. Welcome back to the channel, Spicy Squad. Today we're complaining about the woes of being a short rider. I am five foot four. That's a meter and 63 centimeters. I am considered a short rider. Today, I'm gonna tell you the secrets, the secrets to feeling comfortable if you're a short rider. If you're new here, hello, my name is Lolly. I ride a MTO7 named Spicy Boy. And my goal on this channel is to create community, make friends. So if that sounds like a good time to you, please consider subscribing. In my years of riding, I have been challenged to uh, bikes that were not for my size. I think the most challenging of them all, but also the most rewarding has been the uh, Panamerica. And that was my first time off-road too. That bike is a tall bike and I know us short riders are looking for that miracle answer. You need to get more of your foot on the ground. That's the secret to riding big bikes. Lolly, how could you possibly know this? Because I experienced it firsthand and I also happen to be recording the day that I experienced this phenomenon of touching more of the ground. And let me tell you, it was mind-blowing. Okay, let me explain to you the secret. The day that I was uh, riding the R7 for the very first time, I had on these shoes that I had taken with me to uh, the IMS outdoor show uh, that I could have for both riding motorcycles so they had some ankle protection uh, but that they could also be used as just regular regular walking shoes these shoes were like a high top sneaker but they also had a wedge they have about a two and a half inch heel not quite two and a half but somewhere somewhere like that like a wedge in the back and that gave me a short rider two and a half extra inches of confidence <laughs> Oh, that sounded so bad. Oh, that's not what I meant. Well, that is what I meant, but it just came out wrong. I remember coming to a stop sign and I think it was on a slight hill or something like that. And I remember, okay, Lali, don't drop the bike here. This is, this is a brand new R7. Don't drop it. You're in the demo test ride group. Don't be that person. And I was preparing to tiptoe when I got there, when I got there and I put my hand foot down. I put all of my foot down and I was like, oh, this never happens. Let's go. Yeah, oh my god, this is like insane. I've never, ever, ever been able to have this much foot down on a sport bike. It makes it... Wow. Is this what it's like to have, like, confidence on a... Insane. Insane. You guys have no idea how, what, like... Oh, it's so frustrating when you're short. This is, this is what tall people must feel like. This is what tall people must feel like. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. And it was that moment that I had uh, this mind-blowing revelation that is the answer for short riders is don't be short. No, I'm kidding. That's a horrible tip, I know. Let me give you some actual good tips that will make this easier. Everything you want to do as a short rider is to get more of your foot on the ground. There's a couple ways you can do that. One of them is wearing shoes, like I mentioned, with a wedge that can give you a couple extra inches, especially in the back of your heel. Because you can always touch your tippy toes to the ground, but it's the back part of your foot that doesn't touch the ground that's the problem. So if you have a wedge heel like that, it'll really help you out unfortunately those shoes i got them on like clearance for eight dollars i don't even remember where <laughs> they end up being like one of the most brilliant idea for a riding shoe that i've ever come across i think we need a uh, we need more riding shoes like that and unfortunately and i have scoured there is nothing like those on the market you hear that riding community we need eight dollar clearance heeled shoes that we can comfortably walk around in and also will help short riders out but shoes aren't the only thing you can do. Shoes are probably just the easiest one. I think the second easiest one would be to shave uh, a little bit of the seat foam off. That might give you like max half an inch. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. Another thing you can do is uh, lower your bike. You could definitely lower your bike, uh, but you have to be careful because you change like the ergonomics of the bike when you do that. Uh, and there's been like horror stories about people who have lowered their bike too much, their license plate punctures the tire when they go over a bump or something like that. So don't lower the bike too much. Lowering any more than an inch, I don't know if it's, <laughs> if it's a recommended practice. Okay, another brilliant tip that I literally never hear people talking about this tip for short riders. Why is nobody mentioning this? This is so self-evident. Well, it's not self-evident, but it's such a good tip. Oh, I need to I need to pull over somewhere to show you guys this one. All right, before we move on, I have to give a thanks to today's sponsors. So if like me, you're a short rider and you're also short-sighted, allow me to introduce you to today's sponsor, Fly Guys. I'm wearing their glasses right now. And honestly, I can say they're one of the most comfortable, well, actually they're the most comfortable pair of glasses I've ever owned. And definitely the most comfortable pair of glasses that I've ever ridden with. That's because they're designed for motorcycle riders and for pilots. The part that makes these glasses really awesome is that they have 
very thin side frames and they also have very flexible side frames. So they slide in and out of your helmet like super easily. And when you put them in a certain position, that's where they stay. Uh, my normal pair of glasses is a bit too wide for my face. So when I end up putting it inside my helmet, it kind of <laughs> just sits in the air instead of sitting on the bridge of my nose. Uh, and that gives me shaky vision or you'll end up getting pressure points. Flying Guys has completely eliminated that problem for me. I do have a discount code for you guys. If you want to try out Flying Guys, it's Lolly for 10% off. They do make both prescription and regular sunglasses. The link to Flying Eyes and also the discount code will be down in the description. Let me show you what I mean. The number one secret. Okay, I don't know if GoPro is going to film this very well, but do you see how I'm straddling the bike like my feet are straddling this bike? So basically, the wider tank that you have, um, the more you're going to be straddling your bike. So if you can see here, this is like, this is actually a pretty wide tank. And what doesn't help is that the rear sets are in a position where I can't get my feet closer to the tank because the rear set is in the way. Now, I don't know if you can tell, it is adjustable, uh, but not all bikes come stock with adjustable rear sets. But if you can figure out a way to get the rear set out of your way so that you can like hug, uh, get your feet closer to the bike rather than like straddling it really wide, uh, that's actually gonna help you a lot. One of the bikes that's notorious for having like a short tank is the Z series, like Z600, 900. All those bikes have very narrow tanks. So if you can get to a show somewhere and demo ride, or at least like just sit on one of those bikes, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. That brings me to uh, another good point about being a short rider. And ladies, honestly, it's us usually who are the short riders. Not always, but in the majority of cases, it's a ladies problem where you're shorter. The industry doesn't design motorcycles uh, for us, which is a shame because humans came before motorcycles, right? So we should be designing motorcycles to fit humans and not relying on that the humans will fit the motorcycles. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, let me use another analogy. You can walk into like Victoria's Secret and try on a bunch of bra- well, guys, um, actually guys, you could do that too. Nobody's stopping you. You can walk into Victoria's Secret, try on all these bras and find out that none of them fit you. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you and your body. It just means that those bras are designed badly. And yes, they may fit the majority of individuals, but we're all in a bell curve and there are people on the on the outsides of that bell curve. I don't know how to make this analogy for guys. I guess you can, you can think about it with shoes, right? If you're a size nine and you put a size 10 shoe on it and it's too big, like, are you, if there's nothing wrong with you. It, the shoe is too big. And yes, you could absolutely 120,000% learn to ride bikes that are way too large. A lot of people do that and they learn. That's fine. The majority of people, however, are not going to want to do that. And honestly, after putting my foot down on that R7 and seeing like the instant boost of confidence I got from having more of my foot on the ground, like I'm converted. Now, if you want a different bike that is too tall, uh, then you can try some of the things that I've mentioned, like getting shoes, shaving your seat, lowering the bike, moving your rear sets out of the way so that you can straddle the tank a little bit better. But if you haven't gotten a motorcycle yet, do yourself a favor, go and actually sit on motorcycles. And honestly, go sit on a motorcycle that's way too big for you and see how annoying it is. And then go sit on one that actually fits you and just You'll get an idea of that confidence that I felt when I realized I could touch the floor on the R7. I remember my dad telling me about the ergonomics of the Saab and he would rave about how like all of the things, like all of the buttons you need to push, all of the things that you need to pull, put, whatever. And typically Saab with the instruments banked in front of you, you feel very much like you're in control of an aircraft. And there are some nice little touches as well, like this cup holder. Wow! They're within arm's reach, like you don't really have to go far off the steering wheel to do that or you don't have to like outstretch your your fingers to do that. It's kind of like the car was designed for a smaller person in mind. And that's kind of the same thing with the motorcycles here. So remember, you can ride any bike you want, but if you get a motorcycle that will actually fit you and your proportions, you're going to be one happy short rider. Thanks for watching Spicy Squad and I will see you in the next one.